Former Super Bowl winning star Marshawn Lynch was arrested in Las Vegas by the Las Vegas Police Department. Now, a little bit of the backstory is they're saying that around 7.25 a.m., the 36-year-old was, you know, driving down the Las Vegas Strip, right? They're saying that he was allegedly, right, swerving his vehicle into curbs and, you know, um, on the roadside before coming to a traffic stop now they say through the course of the investigation officers determined that lynch was impaired and conducted an arrest um the police said lynch was transported to the las vegas city jail and booked under driving under the influence now we know marshawn right i'm gonna give him a pass on this one even though it's a very dangerous thing to get behind the wheel after you drunk i'm sure a lot of people listening have done it but you know, the consequences could be catastrophic and it could change your life for the worse if something goes wrong, either for you and or other people. Now, Lynch played his last NFL game back in 2019, right? Now, this dude was the man, right? I mean, most notably, you know, like, you know, even outside of the NFL, this dude didn't spend any of his NFL money. He saved all of his money and pretty much used his endorsement money. He does a lot of work in the community, the brother had a drink. It was bad judgment, you know, allegedly if he, you know, this is all, this is true, what they're saying. It was a bad judgment call, almost like Henry Ruggs, right? Henry Ruggs, you know, a young kid, a lot of money. He goes, he gets twisted with his girlfriend, and he in a vet doing 100-something miles an hour. We probably all have been there, but it's just with, with Uber and Lyft and all these different driving services and whatever, don't take the chance. Even if you think that, you know, I just had a couple of drinks, had a few drinks. Don't take the chance because a few drinks, if you hit somebody, you know, something goes wrong and they test you, you could be, you know, on the line for a body, man. So let this be a lesson. Good thing nothing serious happened to him. You know, I know a lot of friends of mine who got DUIs, you know, guys who got two, three of them. And trust me, you know, they got a blow in a breathalyzer. It's not a good place to be. And, you know, I know the majority of people that listen to this channel, you know, um, are, you know, probably 25 to maybe 45, 50 years old. So I'm preaching to the choir. I get it. But for the youngster that may be out there, or even an old person that may do it regularly, man, trust me, it is not worth it. A friend of mine, you know, um, who was just telling me how he got hit with one and... It's just a lot. You get suspended licenses. You know, you're paying fines out the wazoo. It's a stain on your record. You just don't want to do it. I advise against it. Even though, you know, over the years as a youngster, you know, I will go clubbing in Philly. They have to, I'll be the one that have to drive people back. But I, oh, my thing will be like, man, I'm not, you know, telling anybody this is the way to do it. But I will kind of get like buzzed real early and kind of like stop. Like stop the rest of the night. Eat, whatever. And by the time... You know, we done left the club. Everybody else is stumbling over, falling. I'm straight. You know what I mean? So, usually I would have to be the one that would have to take people home. But, but even in that situation, that wasn't smart because if anything would have happened, I would have been responsible and I still would have had an alcohol content level that was very, very high. So, I'm happy, you know, um, that nothing happened serious with him. And I hope this, this could just be a learning lesson for Marshawn because he's one of my favorite dudes. You know, in the NFL, because what he stands for outside of the NFL. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section, man. Tell me uh, if you got a story, a DUI story like this. If you know friends that done it, man. And um, it's, it's sauce is good, man. You know, uh, the website is hiphopun.com, hiphop the letter un.com for all your latest hip hop news, man. We doing it, man. On a road to one million subscribers, you can help us get there by hitting that subscribe button. Yeah, and we're going to get there either way. But you're going to help us get there faster. Smash that subscribe button, man. It's your boy, Oh God, man. Say it with your boy, man. Hip-hop on sense to this. The vibe. So subscribe. Peace.